everyone. My name is Laura Andes. As Charity Navigator's Chief Program Officer, I lead the team that develops methodology for our ratings. I am so fortunate to be joined by Eve Burge, Executive Director of the White Pony Express, a food rescue organization in California. Eve, it is so good to have you here celebrating giving with us. It is even better to be here celebrating giving with you. <laughs> Addressing hunger is a cause that is near and dear to so many of our donors' hearts. Did you know that one in four Americans are skipping meals or relying on food donations? Meanwhile, Americans throw away 40% of our food supply. Food banks and food rescue organizations work diligently to bridge this gap, and we developed a methodology to highlight those organizations on their effectiveness so that they can feed those in need. White Pony Express is a handful of organizations with a perfect rating on Charity Navigator, and I'm so thrilled to talk to Eve about her work. Low-income low communities were hardest hurt during the pandemic. Eve, can you describe the need you saw over the last years related to hunger and how you at White Pony are continuing to address food insecurity? Sure, I would be happy to. Um, clearly, when the pandemic hit, there was a, um, a huge spike in need. Lay, you know, people weren't working and people who had already been hit hard and were already marginalized and in need were, found themselves in even greater need. And that was the case in our communities. And so um, recognizing this, we did not shut our doors one day. On the contrary, we met every morning to figure out creative ways of securing more food so that we can provide for the additional agencies that were knocking on our door, letting us know that their clients needed food. And we succeeded. So as a food rescue organization, as you mentioned, you know, we rescued just one third of that 40% of food we produce and we eliminate hunger. We know this. And so we, um, so we today and over the last two and a half years have been rescuing and delivering two to three times as much food as we were before the pandemic. And we've not seen any, um, the need continues to increase now with um, inflation and other, and other challenges. Such amazing and important work. Thank you. Can you share a story about being volunteer powered? I know that you're a volunteer powered organization. Can you tell us a little bit about how your volunteers support your work? I would be happy to. So White Pony Express was really created to be a vehicle for the community to lean in. And we are better together. And we have one human family. And we have a responsibility to our family to uplift lives and to help one another. And, um, and so as a vehicle for service, loving service, um, we, uh, we, well, for the first four years, we were entirely volunteer powered. At one point, we were among the largest solely volunteer powered organizations in the country. Um, now we have a small team, but so much of the work that we do is um, by virtue of our volunteers. We're open seven days a week. We don't take vacations and neither do they. They show up two times a day, massive groups of people. And what they're doing is they're receiving the food that we rescue. They're sorting it so carefully to ensure that the quality of that food is the same that they would serve a loved one. And then a, in alignment with the food justice model, they're also selecting the food that the agencies that we're serving that day want and need. So based on their cultural preferences or any activities they have going on. So that's the work of our volunteers. And it doesn't end there. Um, they're also doing development. They're on leadership teams. They are really the voice, these voices of the community. That is the voice of White Pony Express. I, I love how your the community gives you the volunteers that power the work. That's Absolutely. amazing. And we actually have one of your volunteers with us, Dr. Gwendolyn Hamilton. Are you are you here? <laughs> Dr. Hamilton, so good to see you. How did you get involved with the White Pony Express and what motivated you to volunteer? 
Well, first, I want to thank um, Charity Navigators for, for featuring White Pony Express. Um, and to answer your question, I'm a retired pediatrician, and I've worked for almost 40 years with the um, County Health Services Department. And I learned that through my years, I learned that at the end of the month, People run out of money, they run out of food. And this is critical for children's growth and development, um, their learning, their participation in the community. A colleague of mine told me about White Pony Express. And when I had a family who came to me because their child was on dialysis and required a special diet, it was the end of the month. She could not go to the soup kitchens because her child couldn't eat that food. But I called White Pony Express and they said, send her here. She was able to choose the foods that she needed. That miraculous availability of abundance when it was really, really needed brought me to be a volunteer. What an incredible story and I love And I just love hearing about how you as a pediatrician saw a need beyond just health care for your, your patient and really tried to find an organization to support it and found White Pony to do that. That's great. Thank you. Um, well, it looks like it's time for another polling question for our audience. I am so curious, for those at home, what matters most to you when he choosing a charity? Is it impact? Leadership, connectedness to community, good governance practices. Oh, I love seeing the responses. So many of you are saying impact, some of you are saying connected to community, good governance, leadership, but it does look like impact is, is winning the race here. And of course, we've highlighted three very impactful organizations, including White Pony here. Eve, with our recent ratings, you know, Unification, your organization just earned its first four-star rating. And I should also say, you're one of just a handful of organizations out of the 200,000 we rate that have a perfect score on Charity Navigator. <laughs> what does this mean to you and the rest of the organization? And how do you think this will help you do more for the folks you serve? How could it not? <laughs> um, Charity Navigator is a benchmark, and many of our supporters look to Charity Navigator to help them make decisions about funding. And um, so I'm uh, d so delighted that our transparency is, um, you know, has carried over in this way. Uh, and I think with regard to impact, what we would love to do is share this food rescue model with other communities. Um, we can eliminate hunger. We just need to band together and um, and be um, and be more creative. But we have a model that will help communities do that. So what we would love to do is share that model freely. That's fantastic, and it is a, a model that's gotten you 100 out of 100 on impact. So congratulations, Larry. <laughs> <Well, laughs> Well, thank you, Eve, for joining us this evening. And thanks so much to White Pony and Pr Express and all your volunteers and all of the, vo the charities working to combat hunger and food insecurity. Thank you. And if I could, I'll just end with a quote by our founder, Dr. Carol Whalen Connor, who says that White Pony Express is built on the understanding that in this beautiful world we share, love knows all, does all, and is the most powerful force in the universe. And what we've been able to do at White Pony Express and what I hear from my partners who are with me here today is that we apply that practically in what we do by being transparent, by being reliable, by appreciating our communities, and, um, and by having respect. So thank you again so much for having us. Thank you, Eve.